Many organizations have huge investments in existing applications that are often siloed in legacy systems and are very difficult and expensive to update and maintain. Modernizing these applications can unlock great benefits for these organizations, such as accelerating their digital transformations, enabling them to take advantage of new technologies and services, and becoming more responsive to their customers' needs and changing market dynamics. Cloud computing is one of the three main ingredients in application modernization. In the rest of this video, we will see how and what else application modernization entails. Hi, I'm Eric Minnick with IBM Cloud, and I want to talk about application modernization and three huge transformations that have been going on together. Um, so we've got three things going on, they're interrelated, and this is what we're seeing, this change in how we're doing architecture, infrastructure, and our ways of working, how we deliver. And if we go back in time a little bit, you know, we saw applications that were very monolithic, uh, they were running on physical servers, and we used waterfall style development where we'd have long plans and we'd say, okay, this is gonna be our planning phase, our development phase, our testing phase, and we could plan out a year as a, a project. Uh, and, and that's really what we've gone away from. So if we look at how most organizations are working today, um, architecturally, they've got some sort of distributed architecture. Um, it's usually related to like a service-oriented architecture, the, the big buzzwords a, a few years ago. Um, but it's some sort of distributed architecture. We have a bunch of web services, they're talking to each other, we've got some databases on the back end. Um, and then some front ends that kind of go through all that. On an infrastructure level, uh, they're running on some sort of a virtual machine, right? So we said, we could probably do better than having to order a new server every time we have a new service. Let's virtualize this stuff. And we need a little more density along the way. And from a, a way of working, you know, agile development, pretty normal and then trying to figure out a little bit of what happens downstream. So this kind of takes us up to where a lot of teams are today, um, but not really where they're going. And so if we look at kind of that next phase, uh, we're taking another pass at this service-oriented architecture and really shrinking the sizes of the services, taking advantage of the more dynamic infrastructure we have. Um, and we're calling these now microservices, right? Microservices. So we've got a microservice architecture. So very small, very focused services, moving away from a lot of the heavyweight XML-based communication we saw in SOA um, towards more REST-based communication, things like that. But same idea, let's keep breaking into smaller and smaller pieces. We have uh, more independence of what we ship, uh, more rigor in saying this service needs to be independent from another service so I can change these things by themselves. On the infrastructure side, um, cloud. Cloud's pretty popular. And this could be public cloud, this could also be private cloud. I, I'm painting uh, with a very broad brush when I say cloud here. And then from a delivery and a way of working, um, we could say that DevOps is, is really key. And I, I would include in this approaches like site reliability engineering, SRE. Um, more the, the ways of working we have today. Now, that, that's fine and interesting, but what do these things have to do with each other? Um, and I'd argue that what we're really seeing is modernization in how the applications um, are delivered and how they're built, uh, what they are. Um, and while you could walk into any large enterprise today and you'll find someone who says, we are going through a cloud trans uh, transformation. And you'll often find someone who says, yes, I'm in charge of leading the DevOps transformation. 
and you'll walk into enterprise architecture and they'll say, yes, we are pushing microservice architectures. It, individuals think that they're going through three separate transformations, but they're really tied, right? If I'm doing microservices, right, and I have new microservices all the time, and in order to get a new microservice up and running, I'm over here and I have to order a new physical server and then rack and stack it a couple months later. I'm not going to get any time to market benefits. Um, the resilience benefits that I'm going to normally look for from microservices are going to be modest at best. Right? Microservices want cloud infrastructure. You want to be able to say, I've got a new microservice. Let me put it in a container and just run that container right now and scale that dynamically. Similarly, cloud really likes running microservices, right? The benefits of being able to dynamically scale are really cool when you have a lot of small things that you might need few of or a lot of. It's not as interesting when I've got a monolith that, that isn't even distributed. How do I scale that? I get a bigger cloud server? And then all of this is kind of baking in this idea of speed and resiliency. And DevOps brings that together, right? The developers who have always wanted speed, the operations people who've always wanted that resiliency, they're going to be programming that cloud, right? The programmable infrastructure that cloud provides needs operations people who understand resiliency but bring some of that development skill in. And to really take advantage of these new infrastructures, the, the new architectures, you need these new ways of working. And you also are gonna say, if this is gonna give me time to market benefits, I can't be back here and say, yeah, no, we've got a, a one year project plan that we're just gonna execute. I need to be able to be more agile and adapt in my planning and my responsiveness to the business. I need to better um, wire up my applications so they can be more easily monitored and, and more resilient. So we have to have the application in a way that it knows when one of these services is failing and we can spin up another. So this is really, uh, for me, fascinating that you walk into these organizations everywhere and they're undergoing these three different transformations but they're always doing them together. And when they don't, it doesn't quite work. So you've got these three transformations going on at once. And you'll hear us talk a lot about application modernization, right? Um, see that written across the top here. And when I think of application modernization, I think it's just this. It's this transformation right here, going from these kind of monoliths or service-oriented architectures to microservices, adopting cloud, modernizing our ways of working towards DevOps and SRE, that's AppMod, right? And it's a really exciting time and it's really great when you're able to go after it in a holistic fashion.